Hi friends, so glad you're back. Today, we're joined by my friend, Little Bo Peep. If you know the poem about Little Bo Peep, you know that she was a, a little shepherdess who lost her sheep. She was so sad, they wandered away. Well, thankfully, if you know the poem, in the end of the story, they come back safe and sound. But you know, it's interesting thinking about that sense of lostness, things that we care about being lost, things that, that matter to us no longer being near. And in this year that we've been living through, there have been many, many losses and many things to grieve. And if you're in a space where you're sad about something, you're grieving something that that you had or that you had hoped to have and didn't come to fruition, there's some mudra and some breathing that can help with that. I'd like to demonstrate those for you now. Hey, Bo, can I put you down just for a moment so everyone can see both my hands? That's okay? All right, I'm gonna put Bo right here. This way you can see both of my hands. We have been practicing doing finger presses in the last few days and today, we're going to move on to our fourth finger, also known as our ring finger. And you simply encircle your ring finger, which is associated with grief or loss or disappointment. And you gently squeeze your ring finger. You can even tug on it a little bit. With this, I like to add some nice, slow breathing. I like to inhale to the count of nine and exhale to the count of 18. So the exhale is twice as long as the inhale. In through the nose, out through the lips. Let's try it. And Yes, and you can do this mudra and this breathing just as frequently as you would like and as many repetitions as you would like. I hope some time today, tonight, tomorrow, whenever, if you're feeling a sense of disappointment or you're feeling a sense of grief, that you'll remember this mudra and this breathing and that will help. Well, Bo Peep, we are very glad that you did find your sheep. And thank you for joining us today. Did you know? It's time to wave goodbye to our friends at home. You did know that. Would you like to wave? You would? Bye-bye, friends. Be at peace. Well, thank you, Bo Peep. I'm going to try. Friends, Bo Peep and I hope you have a great rest of the day. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.